Hi, this is Ilma Art Studios uh, photograph for today. I caught that bird working on a water bottle. Check my website for more artworks and photographs. Uh, today I'd like to share with you my palm devotional which is extracted from uh, Psalm 23 verse 1. It says, The Lord is my shepherd. I have all that I need. And here's my poem, Cure for Neediness. Are you feeling down and frustrated? Do you feel ignored and mistreated? Are your expectations from your loved ones met? Do you seek their approval and fret? The Lord is your shepherd. You have all you need. He guides you and plants in your heart good seeds. He loves you so much and longs for your heart. Don't allow the enemy to trample or make you depart. Here's my essay. Do you experience days when you feel so down, frustrated and tired? When there are nights that I am unable to sleep, usually something is happening in my heart. One of the ploys of the enemy is to create wants in the guise of needs in our lives. Satan presents these wants in a very subtle and cunning way that makes it look like it is a need. In my case, I am usually distracted with many chores or a list of things to do that I haven't finished. Then he comes and gives me more distractions so that I won't focus and give my whole heart and mind to God. The Bible tells us that if you have God, you have all you need. You don't long for the things of this world, but him alone. Prayer. Lord, let my heart pine for you. Reflection. What wants prevent you from being close to God? So as a... Uh, as as an answer to that reflection question in my life, all these um, accumulated things and um, um, having everything, embracing too much comfort is uh, sometimes preventing me from being close to God because um, I've got like just for this last whole month I've been decluttering and I know back in the Philippines I used to declutter every six months and you know let it go give it away or have a garage sale and when I don't do that just you know we buy things that we don't usually use and uh, need and so I used to have a policy that whatever comes in I have to you know put out I have to let go of two other things to let in one thing but I haven't done that for the last uh, many years of my life. I think I've got to get back to that so that I don't have so much clutter. Uh, our surroundings, um, I don't know if you've heard of this television shows about hoarding and stuff. Like some people become so, um, they just don't want to do anything because there's, so much clutter around them and it debilitates them from really living their life um, the way it should be lived so and sometimes um, because I was I, I grew up where my needs are not really met as a child and I'm not seen uh, and respected as a child so I think that I have this neediness inside me that pops up all the time and sometimes when I'm so distracted the enemy just just targets that so that he could create a need and then when I have this want in the guise of a need coming into me I get to be so whiny and complaining and um, you know feeling desperate feeling hopeless and frustrated so I, I think that's a thought for you to think about. Um, what is it that stops you from from uh, focusing on God? And um, what is it that makes you so needy? Um, because as the Bible says, if we have God, we have all we need. Thanks for watching, and I hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com for more artworks and photographs. Have a wonderful and blessed day.